Bernier says it's the right decision. Half of Canadians wanted to hear from us, and Canadians will be able to look at all the options. And I can tell you that the People's Party is a real national party. Numbers. The capital gains tax. And speaking of numbers, let's start. Davis was killed and five others, including a 13-year-old girl, were all struck by bullets. Police say the people who were filming the music video were the intended targets, but the six people who were shot were innocent bystanders. Totally not intended targets, um, so they were just in that space when uh, these suspects came in and just opened fire. Over 100 bullets were fired. Police have spray painted numbers on the ground where shell casings were found. The area where the shooting occurred is still taped off today. One girl says she was home in one of the apartments during the shooting and saw Davis after the gunfire. I saw them trying to hold but I couldn't breathe and then he died. I felt so bad for him at that time. Three of the five victims who were shot have been released from hospital. The other two are in stable condition. Peel police say the gunmen covered their faces and wore black clothing, but have very little information about who these people could be and are asking the community to come forward with any tips. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Kelly. He was also involved in the case after police fired at a car that was attempting to flee the scene. But the one person that was transported to trauma center um, is in serious, non-life-threatening condition. Uh, we do have another person that was uh, deceased on the scene when we arrived. Peel officers were called to the 400 just at 410, rather just after two this morning. The SIU says while police were investigating the shooting, they had an interaction with another vehicle in the area. The driver of that car tried to flee. That's when one officer opened fire. The vehicle was later found abandoned. The section of the 410 has been shut down for most of the day. Let's go right to our Camille Carmali. He's on scene and has the latest. Camille. This is all due to an investigation involving multiple locations. At 2.30 this morning, officers found two men with gunshot wounds in a vehicle on the highway just south of Sandalwood Parkway. Sandalwood Parkway is also closed as this hour, at this hour as a result. One man died on scene. The other was taken to hospital with serious injuries. Police say that while officers were on scene, there was an altercation involving an SUV parked on the side of the highway, and the police were trying to block it from driving away. An officer fired multiple shots. The SUV did speed off. It was later found abandoned and riddled with bullet holes just east of the 410 on Checkerberry Crescent, Ontario's police watchdog. The SIU is now investigating. They spoke earlier today. Have a listen. We don't have any information yet as to whether anybody was injured. We know the vehicle was struck. We don't know if anybody was injured because we haven't located the occupants. Uh, but the SIU is investigating right now to see if that was the case, if anybody was injured. I'll send it back over to you at the desk. Okay, thank you, Camille. We want to show you a view from the sky. This is just a short distance away where that heavy police presence in the 401 and Sandalwood area is still there. Peel police say a woman in her 60s has been transported to hospital in life-threatening condition. Emergency crews were called to the home just before 4:30 this afternoon. One person is being taken to custody, and police say there are they are there are no rather outstanding suspects.